Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back. Whew. We have recovered from the complete <laughs> system meltdown. Yay. And all characters are still alive. Are they? Where though? are they? For now. Are they? <laughs> We're on the same side. <laughs> are they? Um, when you see me again, you'll wonder. Okay, now let's see what happens. I. If we disappear after this, one of two things. Either I can no longer use this software, or uh, the universe is telling us not to play tonight. 12, Come on, and universe, nine, be cool. And I hit that. <laughs> Come on, universe, be cool. <laughs> okay. Everything is cool. All right. Everything okay. is cool. So at this moment, you can hear uh, Lorelai starting to scramble for her life on the far side of that door. Chrysanthemum has first action if she wants to take it. Okay. Um, so when we right, right about the time we froze, I was asking, um, what are, what are we aware of as far as we're aware? Of what's going on? You can hear some kind of you know, you saw Lorelai go over the, down along the roof and behind the wall. You heard a lot of scrambling and what you think may have been a door slam. And now you can hear like somewhere between a curse and shuffling on the other side of that barred door. Okay. Um, it's dark. And, and you it's know dark. what that means. <laughs> you all know what that means. And you're wearing <laughs> sunglasses. <laughs> Um, Do I wear my no, sunglasses at night? There's no screaming yet, though, so, you know. So, the only thing I'm thinking is maybe have somebody lift me up onto the wall. I mean, that's not, I, I can't do that, but, if, like, maybe on their turn someone could lift me up to the wall so I can, like, be ready for something to happen, or? The noises are from the other side of the door, however, not oh, from the court yeah. door. It's coming through, okay. coming through here. Is there any kind of like window or anything on the door? Nope, it's just a solid wood door. Oh. Hang on. Um I know what you're thinking. I don't know if it'll work. Go for it. <laughs> um can I Hang on, I have to find it. There it is. Um well, see, I don't know if it's locked or not. I'm guessing it's locked. Um, Cause it won't work if it's locked. Um, can I go over to the door, walk over the door and like try the handle to see if it's locked? <laughs> Cause we didn't actually try it. We'll <laughs> laugh so hard if it's unlocked and you just lock it. It's a little late in the game for that, but uh, sure you like, okay. <laughs> Run over, grab the handle with both hands, and go to lift, and the sucker's not budging. Okay, that's fair. The dar door is indeed locked and barred. <laughs> okay. Um, are there any windows on this side? Solid stone wall. Solid Good stone Good security. Wall. <laughs> well, I don't know, bare minimum security, but... Mm. <laughs> okay, then thaumaturgy's not going to work. Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, I don't. My only other thing would be to cast light, but I don't want to attract attention to ourselves. That was so bad. I'm just gonna kind of just like kick the door out of frustration. Not not super hard, just like, eh, and then get out of the way. See if somebody else has an idea. <laughs> well, you know, it's interesting that you would say that because the next person to be up is Raylona. Hey, I'm gonna tell you to move out of the way. <laughs> uh oh. I pull. <laughs> Knocking that door down or going to try okay. to. <laughs> yeah. Give me a strength check. Yes. Ooh. Pretty sure that's the end of the door. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, wait, wait, wait. It's a strength check, so it'll be a plus three. Let me double check. They, you might actually have bumped up against it. Um, I got everything else open, but I forgot to open the adventure back up. Gosh darn. <laughs> Streaming is hard. Streaming is hard. <laughs> it is hard. 
This is the first time ever my computer has shut down midstream. Like, and that was like my old computer even never did that. I mean, yeah, as far well, as you know what? Record, that's we were pretty just good. too hot for your computer to handle. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. Too much activity. Uh, like it has to happen sometime. Nope, yep. That will definitely Christ. break the door down. Woo! That door is no more. Yay. You now have free access through that door. Okay, so what do I see on the other side? Uh, you see two large shadowy dogs, like, put, basically ba you know, barking and snarling at Lorelei as she presses herself up against the door she has recently slammed directly behind her. Oh, yeah, and there's a door over here. Okay. Um, you've made a significant amount of noise, just so you all know. Oh, yeah. You mean that wasn't silent? <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys I'm not a stealth person. <laughs> However, but the door's out of the way. For yes. future reference, if we had a mage cast silent, you could crash things quietly. I think that's a couple levels down the road. Yeah. Uh I'm pretty sure I think that's a second level spell because I I think I I can do it. I just don't have it today. <laughs> Yeah. Well, not quite there yet. Yeah, I have. Oh, I could. Well, I could. It's kind of late to do it as a ritual now. But... <laughs> <laughs> well, it might have taken a little longer than we intended. <clears throat> if you yeah, had to do it wait. as a ritual, I need a ritual. <laughs> it is available to me as a ritual. <laughs> and there you go. Uh, speaking of which, um, one of them is going after uh, Lorelai. And. Ooh, And she's gonna take. Oh. oh, she's just gonna take four damage from it, though. Oh, is that all? As it as it barks and bays at her. Um, oh, on the other hand, though. Uh, yeah, you know we're gonna let that roll for now. So I'll mark that off. So Lorelai's down to seventeen. Indeed. And the other one gets uh, Lorelai gets to do something. I do. I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to try to attack it. Okay. And I think this was maybe not our smartest plan. Well, the good news is if you hit and you didn't, um, mm -hmm. you do get to apply your sneak attack damage because uh, Regalona is already on the other side of it. Much. Wow. Well, you know. That was an impressive collection of failure. I have rolled <laughs> terribly all evening. However, I also get my um, bonus action of um, uh, dash to the other side of the room. <laughs> uh, you mean disengage? Oh, I guess it would have to be disengage at this point, wouldn't it? Yes, indeed. Disengage. Where exactly are you hoping to go with this? You, you kick in your disengage. You have to have your full move. Where are you hoping to end up? The, the next door, the door to the uh, west. Yeah. Bunk. For giggles, are you also throwing it open and continuing to run, or are you just going to, like, prepare? If at all possible, oh, yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, erase fog. Bink. Bunk. No problem. As you throw open the door and fling yourself through it. Uh, let's see. Who's in this room with you now? Because it always makes sense to continue to run deeper into an unknown space. <laughs> hey, you didn't have a friggin' ghostly mastiff in your face. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Well, yeah, this just got interesting. Um, uh -oh. I have a charm person ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> in, in a frantic attempt to escape, Lorelai throws herself through the door. Um, do you, are you slamming the door behind you or just flinging yourself through? Nah, I'm just going through. Okay. Skitters into the room and again slides in a pool of blood, somewhat you know, dramatically across the, the dining room. 
you glance down the hall at two men standing on either side of the uh, of the dining room table, each of whom looks at each other, and then they look at you. They look at each other. You know her? No. So we kill her. Yep. And they started. Where are they? Uh, they're on either side of the dining room table. Great. Oh no, we've aggroed another mob. <laughs> and so now oh they're boy. in the mix. That's all right, because I don't think they belong in this house, and therefore the massive should attack them equally with us. Uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> That's what we're going to hope for moving forward. She's, she's so optimistic. These are the things she brings to the table. I love it. Keeping Optimism you. Optimism and impulsiveness? Grand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, wait. And wine. And wine. And Optimism, that. impulsiveness, and wine. <laughs> yes. Are you sure you're not the bard? Like... <laughs> Ranger, I'm a rogue, bard. rogue bard. The the line is very fine between the two. Um, I'm a rogue pretending to be a bard. You see, there you go. Number two is going to give chase to the rogue because that's the nearest target for it to chase after. So that's what it's going to do. Oh bored. And it is not going to succeed as she dodges around its various snarls and snashes with its teeth. Um, that's going to take us now to... Oh, the proper shadow. I forgot about him. Wait, what? A what? This shadowy figure that passes oh. up... It appears to rise up in front of the door. I'm so glad I left. Okay. Uh, what exactly is Shakira going to do now? Or my mate Ray is Raylona on her way out. Raylona just way? broke through the door and is kind of like picking herself back up. <laughs> gotcha. So okay. she's right there. You could easily squeeze past her if you wanted to. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in there for some extra support, just in case things go south. Which I mean, <laughs> in case they on. go south. <laughs> just in case. I mean, how likely is it? You mean south er? South er. <laughs> <South-er. laughs> That feels about, yeah. Uh. Um, not telling you what to do, but how exactly big is that spell again? Uh, oh, there it is. 15 foot cone. Burning hands, by the way. If you were thinking of such things, 15 oh. feet would be three squares. So that. To get rid of the gnarly character yep. attacking our friend. It won't quite reach the one chasing Lorelei, but it'll definitely give her some support. Next... Okay. Um, well, it looks like I'm right next to one, too, so maybe maybe two birds with one stone with birdie mm-hmm. Okay, and quick question. I see first level and second level of the same spell. Mm-hmm. Do, I have, do I have to do first level first, or how does that work? Uh, you can you get um, you have your you have four first level slots and two second level slots. Gotcha. So okay. you can cast it with one of your second level okay. slots if you want to. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, I think just to be on the safe side, even though Shark here is a bit of a gambler, we're going to go with the second. Level. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Throw down that damage, and I'll roll their deck saves and see how they do. Dang. Uh, boom. That's not an unimpressive amount of damage. Ooh. Um, Sharkira. Sharkira. And those guys are gone. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Yay. So, so yes, Ramona kicks the, the, the door girl. down, and then there's just fire. Yeah, fire. Sure, <laughs> sure, sure slips and just whoosh. <laughs> and just sort of fills the, my... the pantry with a flamethrower. <laughs> I was just getting out of the way because I knew she was going to do that. <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah, totally. That was the plan all along. Ultimate trust in my magical friends. <laughs> <laughs> Which loops us back around to Chrysanthemum. Okay, um, I'm going to come up. I'm going to come up to the door and just kind of like peek around 
Um, are there, so there's no enemies left in that room? No, there's the one shadow or mastiff thingy in this doorway here. In the doorway. And, and Lorelai's like half paying attention to it, half paying attention to other things around the corner. Okay. Um, can I see, can I see the mastiff? <laughs> I'm uh, guessing it's kind of bright in there <laughs> from the fire. Uh, sure. You got line of sight. Okay. Um, I am going to hit that ma that shadow mastiff with a toll the dead. For six damage. Uh, okay, it makes has to make a wisdom save, right? Yeah. Ooh, but that's what kind of damage does that do? Um, hang on, I just put the page away. Uh, it's necrotic. Ne necrotic. Uh, Ooh. it has uh, has no apparent effect on it. Oh, okay. The shadow is not exactly uh, phased by the sounds of death. Does yeah. it appear to be undead? Um, hard to say. You haven't encountered one say. of these before. Okay. Tell you what, give me um, a quick religion check. That's fair. Religion. Meanwhile, uh, the first of the two guys is going to rush at Lorelei. 14 to religion. 14? Uh, yeah, shadows are probably undead. Cool. I know what I'm doing next time. <laughs> he rushes forward um, and puts Lorelei well on the defensive. Um, connecting once for seven. Howie. Uh, I think Chrysanthemum might want to reevaluate what she thinks she's going to do next. Yeah, I think I, I think. Because the uh, other one is what you're putting down. There's two in there for seven. So I've got you down at 10 now. 10. Okay. Yeah. The other one's Yes, gonna... I am revising my plan. Actually, he's going to take a step back and take a shot at you with his uh, crossbow. He's ruining all my plans. <sighs> so. For seven more damage. What are these squares? Are these five? Those are five. So I've got Lorelai down to three hit points, surrounded uh, by a thug, a shadow, another thug's across the room, and y'all are in the wrong room. Yep. Uh, for Lorelai's benefit, I'm going to point out that there's now she can hear the sound of fighting coming from this corner of the room, and there's a door here, 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 and here. Do I have if I dash? If I dash, how far can I move? If you, but you, you'd be att uh, provoking attacks of opportunity. Um, but your dash is double your movement. Okay. So. What if I disengage? Oh no, I can only do disengage or dash. Right, disengage will move you thirty, so six okay. squares. Got it. The good news is uh, Raylon is up. Okay. From the doorway. Oh, sorry, real quick. No, have, you go. can I can I see can I see Lorelai from where I because it looks like there's a the thing is in the way. Uh, you can see over it. Okay. It's a big dog. Okay. I'm sorry. How many points am I down to? Three. I, I got you at three now, from the crossbow okay. shot. So the first three. guy ran up, beat you with his club. Second guy's like, got you. Thwack. Got it. Okay. Um, I'm going to rage. Yeah. Rage Always. is good. <laughs> yeah. Rage is good. Okay. And then I'm going to run at the first um, creature in the hall. I think it's the Shadow Mastiff. Yep. Okay. And we're going to swing. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. You have two rerolls in the bank. Specifically for me. <laughs> that will definitely hit. Yes. And some damage would be good. Damage is good. Oh, I'm sorry. That's another wrong roll. Here we go. Oh, you already hit. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. For 10 damage. Um, wait, do I get more for raging? Oh, 12 damage. Because there's a plus two. 
Okay. That's going to take it out. All right. And then can I it try to um, pull the attention off of uh, Lorelei with like a, an intimidate or something? Speaking as a free action, go for it. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. The raging barbarian looks scary. <laughs> you have succeeded. All right. You absolutely Ooh. succeeded. Which now raises the question, what does Lorelai do? Oh, well, I would like to disengage and dive under the table. <laughs> okay. Very reasonable. And, and then begin crawling the towards the crossbowman. How far can I crawl? <laughs> uh, well, you already used your disengage, so yeah. even if you were to move your full speed, you can get to about there. Okay. Thank you. That'll work. Good teamwork. What shark you're doing in this moment then? Oh, well, she definitely wants to hop back in and make sure everybody's okay. Um, I have an idea, but I don't know that I have the distance for it. Um, I was wanting to disguise myself to sneak up on one of our two friends here to sneak up behind them and surprise them later, maybe. Uh, because I can be, I be, can become invisible apparently from what I'm seeing, unless I'm reading that wrong. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, but it says 60 feet. So that. How are you making yourself invisible? Um, I don't know. It just says use. I don't know if I can use it, but you... it, it's there. <laughs> Where are you looking? Uh, I am looking at my spells. First level, it says disguise self. Okay, disguise self. Is... Oh, I'm sorry. That wasn't invisible. Whoopsies. Shape changing. Like... Yeah. Never mind. I switched <laughs> them. I switched them. Okay. Like invisible. That's a. Uh... I mean, that's that's in called. Just go with invisibility. It. <laughs> so. I was like, they lowered that in five e. I know. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Okay, that so would, why did I... access to invisibility would have changed most of your calculus for coming into this fight. I was <laughs> getting real excited, but yep, I'm totally just looking at what I wanted to see there. Okay. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, uh, I'm going to have Sharkira run over to Raylona to okay. kind of double up on, um, on this first gentleman here. Okay. And then, let's see. Or does that count as my action? Nope, that's just your move. You can still do stuff. Okay. You right. run, you, uh, you squeeze past Raylon into the room, and... All right, so uh, Lorelai's very low on health, so I, I kind of want to give her a big heckin' protect. So, let's see. Sorry, I'm, I'm counting feet. <laughs> what are you trying to do? I thought about doing a witch bolt, but uh, let's see, witch bolt. I think he's out of range. Yeah, he's just out of range. Yeah. Okay. You can witch bolt the guy right there. Sure, let's witch bolt. <laughs> I gotta witch bolt somebody. Somebody's got to go down. So let's do the witch bolt. <laughs> Roll the attack on it. <laughs> No. You missed. Oh, missed. It was a good setup, though. No. We need to stop missing, ladies. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> well, the rest of us. The rest of us. Technically, Shakira She's already like, has the highest body count. <laughs> She's like, yeah. that door is on the ground, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, was a yeah, lot of setup. actually, that's very true. It's just me, honestly. Yeah. When the rogue <laughs> misses it, re I. it's really sad. Yeah. Okay, Chrysanthemum's up. Um, I'm going to say a little swear under my breath because I can't see Lorelai anymore. 
Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to come into that room. It's dark. Well, the fireplace I... is still lit. So there's some okay, light in works. there. Some so I'm, long I'm going to like, but... I'm going to like keep to the corner and stick my head around. I'm, I'm short. There's no way I can see Lorelai under the table. Is there? Sure. Okay. So if I can see Lorelai, um, oh, let me check the range on that. I think I'm probably good, but I probably are. I think, yeah. Uh, 60 feet. Yeah, I'm fine. Yep. I am going to um, hit her with a healing word. Yes. Good call. Let's see. Eh, it's not my best, but it's better than nothing. Hey, four is four. <laughs> four is four. That keeps then... her, she, she feels encouraged. I do. I feel better. You still have your main action left. Oh, that's right. That's a reaction. Um, that's a bonus to do that. Bonus action. Yeah. Um, can I see... Can I see the enemy on the other side of on the other side of Raylona? Yes. The near one, the one that she's currently fighting the with. The near one. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, you can totally see him. He's trying I not to die. Him. Okay. Well, I couldn't. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. He's hard to miss. Well. Well, and I'm, I'm small, Shakira. so I didn't know if I could like see. <laughs> Ouch. Um. Do I get? Can I cast a cantrip? Mm hmm Okay. Um, then I'm gonna I'm gonna cast Toll the Dead on him. Okay. Roll your damage. Unlike the shadow, he's not undead. Okay. That's a four. So he'll take it as he looks rattled by the the sound in his ears of, of the coming doom. And then I'm gonna just pull like myself back into the corner and try not to be a target. A good strategy as a general rule. Uh, the one that's right there with uh, Relona is going to press his attack to no no appreciable effect. Um, the one on the far side of the room is going to turn his attentions. Terelona and also put a crossbow bolt in the wall and then hook it over his foot and start pulling it back up to reload it. It's kind of scary there for a minute. <laughs> gets to do something. <laughs> okay. Uh, swing, swing with the axe. Oh. Swing, swing, swing with the axe. <laughs> Love over the axe. <laughs> with a great axe. Yeah. Whack. Uh, okay. And uh, oh, did I hit? No, I'm good. I'm good. I okay. thought I hit something else. Okay, so that's actually eight damage because I get the plus two from raging. Mm-hmm. Um, and how's he looking? Uh, he's still in pretty good shape. Uh oh. Um, is that the one near me or? Mm-hmm. He's okay. he's hurt. Oh yeah, that's right. He hadn't been attacked yet. That's yeah, right. he's been told, but he's 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 doing o he's doing. Okay. Um, well, I think I've done all I can for now, so onward. Okay. <laughs> onward. Lorelai's up. All right. I want to creep to the edge of the table okay. and then crouch down and just launch myself and tackle this dude who's trying to load his crossbow. <laughs> okay. Give me an attack roll. Okay. Are you barehanding him or are you uh, daggering him? Unarmed hand? strike. Uh, yeah, unarmed strike. Unarmed strike. That will that will hit him. So my goal is just to take him down right now. Yes. And it does some pathetic amount of damage. Um. Well, see, here's where it gets funny. Um. If I remember right, your unarmed strike does. 
one da bludgeoning damage, one bludgeoning, one plus my strength. Yeah, one. Fire, which but is one. But then you need to roll an additional two d six for the sneak attack from your sneak attack. Ooh, crispy. Yeah. So he takes eleven from that. But eh. Because, yeah, you tackled him, but then you jammed your elbow into his kidneys a few times as you rolled around together. Uh, give me a strength check. Not bad. His was better, but it wasn't bad. Oh, well. So the toe, you, take, you push him back. He gets to his feet. You get to your feet. He drops his crossbow and whips out a dagger. Goody, I whip out a dagger and a sword. Mm. <laughs> and we'll see what happens when it comes back around to you. How's Shakira doing? Okay. She wants in on this. Uh, which which of our, our dear enemies has the most health? Uh, they look about the same. They both look hurt. Okay. Well, in the interest, again, as Lorelai is, is very, very hurt, I think, yes, I think I am going to click the button. I want to cast a firebolt. Reasonable. That will hit. Give me some damage. Nope. <laughs> uh, well. Seven's pretty good. You know, the animation was slow and I saw a one. And uh, I looked uh, up and it was seven, oh! so. Better, better. <laughs> than, oh, okay. Not as bad as it could have been. No. Not as bad no, as it no. could have been. Say, seven's pretty respectable for a fireball. Mine must yeah. be glitching or something because I saw a one. <laughs> <laughs> the actual dice. I was like, no. I was like, oh. <laughs> All right, what's Chrysanthemum's contribution to the current debacle in which you have stumbled? A lot of swear words at first. Um, swearing's a <laughs> free action, right? Where's Drumir? He'd be so proud. Swearing is, I know. A, swearing is a free action. <laughs> All of my new words from Drumir. Okay. Thankfully, um, nobody else speaks dwarf, so no one knows you're swearing like a sailor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping I'm swearing. I mean, I, I, I could be saying, you look great in blue for all I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, that could be intimidating, though. Mm -hmm. So this room is it lit enough that I can see? I could see um, Lorelai and what's happening. Yes. Okay. Um. So can I like cut in the room behind Raylona and then just kind of move along the wall to where I can get a shot at the the guy engaging sure. Lorelai. Okay. I'm going to kind of scoot along that wall there and then I will cast um, I will cast Guiding Bolt. That's probably a really good plan. All right. Guiding Bolt it is. Do you call out to the gods to bring down Wrath upon him and connect? Yep. And they that'll, do. That'll do. <laughs> Um, speaking of uh, house rules, I will also add, wow, okay, he's toast. <laughs> Ooh. He, he Ooh. becomes incinerated in divine light. All right, that was worth Whoa. the spell slot, guys. Whoa. Um, we also that have a house rule that slot. dropping the gnome is a free action. Dropping the gnome. <laughs> um, that came up in our convergence game. Uh, Does it count for halflings? Uh, if you're carrying Point. them, yes, apparently. Okay. Hey, hey, hey we'll remember that. And, and, and two different actions. They, one of the party members found themselves holding the gnome. It was like, well, I've got my sword and the gnome, and I'm fighting something. Can I just drop the gnome? Is that an action? <laughs> drop the gnome. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to just, like, on my finger. Yeah. <laughs> just, just blow the dust off the holy symbol. Yep. Hold up my... <laughs> Polish on my shirt a little bit. Before I'm, I I'm gonna jump back and be like, "Whoa!" Nice. Divine magic nice. is fun. Okay, this guy it's is fun. 
he's still gonna he's still mad at Raylona. All right, bring um, it. Um you're raging, so you take half damage? Yep. So you're only gonna take five as he put presses in against you. Alright. And he manages to get a couple of good um good hits. Um, making you kind of you know, give up a bit. You're starting to get that battle fatigue starting to overtake you a little bit. I don't think Sharkira is wearing Ari's shark hat. They're trying to be sneaky. Well, I think we threw stealth out the door when I busted it in. <laughs> as soon as the door goes down, Sharkira pulls out the hat. And speaking of, it is Raylona's action. Yeah. Okay. Um, swing, swing. Let's see. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Don't kill him! <laughs> I'm not 100% sure it hit, but it's a pretty good one. Oh, it so. hit. Oh, it hit? Okay. For as little damage as I could possibly do. Um, so six damage. Oh. Okay, yeah, that checks out. And he's uh, he's still on his feet. And he's still fighting. Okay. Well, I think I'm good. Lorelai's up. I'll remind you, you can also still hear the sounds of a battle raging up the stairs. Which, let me unfog now that you've been over there. There's a staircase right there. Ooh. Okay. Draw more aggro. Do it. And there, there's a sound, sounds of fights <laughs> fighting coming from up those stairs. Hmm. Well, I, I'm gonna have to investigate. Now? Now, now, now. yeah. Uh, Immediately. To the base of the stairs, peek around the corner. chrysanthemum has been trying to get close enough to cast cure wounds, and she just keeps moving away. Okay, Um. so... No, no, peek around the corner and go around the corner. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm not uh, completely insane, just moderately. Okay, there are stairs that go up to a landing that turns around to the your left at the top of the stairs. Is anyone on the lower part of the stairs? Nope. The fighting is coming from up at the top of the stairs and around the corner. Okay, well, I'm going to have to go and peek around the corner. That's up the stairs? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Stealthily down low peak. Stealthily down low <laughs> peak. Got it. So that would be the upper floor. Um, bink. We'll do that. Clear off the landing. Uh, I'm going to keep Lorelai's token on the downstairs level. And yes, thank you. As, as she peeks around the top... Um, let's see here. Uh, where is that now? That is room number encounter location number 13. And, uh, a lot is happening in the, in this elegant foyer. Battle oh rages between several zents and the house guards. The floor is strewn with dead bodies. In particular, there are six, you, you count no less than five bodies on the ground as seven men and women perhaps are duking it out uh, at the top of the stairs. Zents and members of the house. Uh, it looks like four of them are wearing the house crest um, and three of them are in black leather armor. Interesting. Creep back down the stairs. Come on, you have I moved. One, two, three. I'm going to start back down. Okay. Reasonable. We'll let them kill each other off for a while first. <laughs> <laughs> and an interesting choice. This ain't no place well, for no heroes. And people, I think, firebombed me. So do you think I'm really favorably inclined to any of them? I firebombed you? Scared. I don't know. Who firebombed you? Didn't they? No. And when did Didn't you get fire? Nimble right? 
Hmm? Oh, yeah. It's hard to Didn't say. Did they, like, fireball my tavern? Your favorite place to hang out? Yeah, that's probably not completely false. <laughs> okay, we'll do, put that there. Boink, 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 boink. Back downstairs. Boom, 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 boom. And you've crept back down the stairs. Doink. And that's kind of what you're up to this round. Uh, so that raises the question, what's Sharkira doing? Well, well. What do we have here? Um, we still have our little friend standing in front of me, it looks like. Is yes. That, he's still alive. Okay. He is. Uh, well, I think we need to take care of him before we do anything else. So... I well, you know what? Can can I want to pull a page out of Lorelai's book here? Can I tackle him? Do an unarmed strike. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for tackling him. Um. Sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, go for it. I'm never gonna tell you now. Okay, you dive at him. Give me a, a strength check to see if you can bind him up in the tackle. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that worked. <coughs> you you lunge at him and he he looks at you in your you know doublet where you've got your fire magics going on and there's this look of like what the f are you doing as you lunge at him like you can see it you can see the gears clicking it he's like this is probably the most unex if you had like spouted tentacles out of your mouth he would be less surprised that he is watching you lunge at him you you slam into his body he stumbles back a bit grabs you by the collar and spins you around his body and chucks you at Raylona catch me <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. who you know sidesteps <laughs> as one does yes. There's no more reflex checks anymore, are there? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, no, I don't think so. Uh, but that was a valiant effort for the mage to try to tackle the armed thug roughly twice her size. What's, uh, what's our little cleric doing? And if you say tackling him, I'm going to kill your character. I'm just going to let's just get that out of the way right now. I'm standing there like, are you kidding me? Um, uh, um, he says, knowing full well, you're going to jump up on the table and charge at him or something. My no. plan. That is my plan. You know that. <laughs> is he, he's, he's still looking pretty whole. Uh, he's bloodied. He's past halfway. Okay. Um, not wanting to waste another spell slot. I'm going to, I'm going to cast Toll the Dead on okay. that guy. <laughs> Roll the damage. Ooh. Ooh. That cleared his clock. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. Five damage. That's pretty solid. Oh. Um, he's taking stock of the situation. He's still taking a moment to think about how much he gets paid to be here. <laughs> He's thinking about where his loyalties are. Uh -huh. I feel like at this point we need to start thinking about do we want him alive? If he bolts, are we going to go after him? Yep. Okay. Where is he going to go? To me? Uh, I mean, you could go out the door. Going I'm... straight out the front doors. Oh. oh. Do I get a do I get a chance at him though before he runs that no, way? No, you're back at the stairs. You just watch him go chart. You're coming. You're creeping down the Wait, stairs as he where's goes the front door? bolting past you. Well, that front door is right there. I don't get to run out and get him. No, 
you were you were peeking. You had to go scouting. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> you could have snuck up behind him and stuck him, but you had to go explore the sounds of combat. <laughs> I did. I did have to. And for a moment, you could all take a deep breath. Cat curiosity. I don't else? want to. I'll end my rage. <laughs> Can I just lightly punch like Shakira in the shoulder, like, "Hey, funny!" But well, there, my rage. <laughs> what are you thinking? There, there are the sounds of combat coming from the stairs, but they're a pretty good distance away. I will rejoin my friends. It's going to take you at least a turn. Like, if you do like a dash, you'll just make it up the stairs barely. Yeah. Um. I don't think well, you're going to. I don't think you're going to keep your rage. Yeah, I don't think so either at this point, but... It's too big of a uh, house. How about I go halfway up the stairs? I know it sounds weird, but, like, that way people can catch up a little bit. Okay. That makes either, sense. Either way, this combat is over. As as Rilona starts up okay. the stairs, the rest of you can gaggle up here. Okay. I'm going to go refresh There's... my water, and we're going to be back here in four minutes. Yay! That work for everybody? Sounds that great. Me. All right, I'll see you back here then. I'm a genie in the bottle, baby. <laughs> <laughs> As you seem to be doing really well with it. Ooh, that 20 is uh, 25. Oh my god. Nice. I shattered it. <laughs> wow. Well, you can roll your damage. I don't 25? Because <laughs> I got three sixes? <laughs> Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Why She's hulked that? out. <laughs> Rage hard. Yeah, I think you should rage all the time. I think you I should like never rage. not, yeah. Yeah, this, never this not be raging. Well, There's where all two. our good rolls were hiding. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's why they were so bad earlier. We were saving up. But... Stop hitting my friends. <laughs> Oop, wrong They're way. damaged books with that kind of attitude. Well played. Wow. Or yeah. something so the final decision is you are actually going to load the were rat into the wagon apparently yes let's sell i him. mean yeah when, when in boulder's game yes. <laughs> not called the wide for nothing <laughs> all right we'll eat his friends we'll, we'll eat his little yes. minions yeah. like when were rat is is a little mm, but like the roasted, like the rats that we have charred via yeah, roast ember. rat. I can produce flame. We can get this cooking. It's good. Yeah, like I'm telling you, rat charcuterie. Let's go. Mm. We're here. Thank you for coming in. My name is Rob, aka Lantern Noir. We are playing Dungeons and Dragons, uh, an original game of I crap. <laughs> I didn't know that was. You're swinging again. Oh man, oh, this, this guy. guy is tough. This guy. What's up with this guy? The, he's what? He... What? This doesn't happen. <laughs> this doesn't happen. All right, we're going. Let's go. Okay. And followed by the smite. Come on, Timber. We got this. I mean, if he doesn't go down now, I don't know. And he go, he dro finally drops. Yes. And is out of the scrap. Um. Gets to the guy in the. I'm heading that way. I'll tag. Oh, she already again. has the potion. She already has the potion. No, she just handed you the book, and as soon as your hands touched it, she let go and run. She's not going to take the potion. It's Got bigger fish to fry, like gain her ass out of there. <laughs> you shot her. I'm trying to unshoot her <laughs> to the best of my abilities. It seemed like a good idea at the time. That's yeah. Safe, yes. So we assume this guy is bad. Oh, he's super bad. Well, you know. Okay. That's all I needed to know. Good. I mean, he keeps I on have... trying to. He's a dick. He keeps on trying to coerce Irina into coming up to his castle and fucking die, become a vampire lady, and she's not into it. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, okay. Way. It, I, yeah, that's kind of where I'm going. Like, do we think it's going to follow us? Yeah. I'm sure it will. Run it. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, can we outrun it, or is it like something that's just gonna follow us no matter where we go? I don't think we can outrun it. I mean, it's not gonna come any closer for a bit. Yeah, I agree. I, I think we're gonna have to fight well, it. Well, we can take shelter in the smoldering ruins. Right? Cause I that, don't know if that's that gonna help. We it's don't just... know what's in the smoldering ruins. <laughs> well, it couldn't be any worse than this. We could oh, yes, across... it could! <laughs> We could come across like another giant creature and then we're fighting two at the same time. And then but it start... could be like Godzilla versus King Kong. So if we run into something even nastier, maybe it won't want to eat us. It'll go after the other thing because they're legends and they have to fight. That's how that works. No, or they team up against us. You've had a very fortunate life, haven't you? Special and like not forced or anything. It's just, it's brilliant. Um, I think the quote I have in particular is actually came from chat, which was uh, the spell slide into DMs, which then became a spell. Um, that's just <laughs> very, it's very endearing. So I love it. <laughs> I'm going to follow it up with, by saying that the, the reaction to receiving a message spell was an absolute, just as far as role play goes. Maybe re -roll yeah, re-roll it. Re-roll it. <laughs> the birds yeah, are yeah, important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Re Everyone's we in on these, the re-roll. I screwed these birds right. up earlier. We need Come a on. high roll. We got this. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay, so like, we're sure. back. The party has fought their way into Grelhall, Grel Hund Villa. Yeah. You're, they're, you're collectively standing in what looks like the dining room. You've dispatched a thug in black armor, and you can still hear fighting from up the top of the stairs. Are we still following initiative order, or? Combat is officially over. Okay. So you do okay, not so have do to. It. You can just tell me what you want to do. And when, in Lorelai's case, most of those actions involve bleeding. <laughs> so my first, my first order of business is going to be to walk up to Lorelai and um cast cure wounds oh thank you perfectly reasonable thing to do there Four, we go 13 jeez it's like she never got hit <laughs> practically well that was a second level so ah I, awesome yeah. Oh my god! Better, better have been good if I'm expending a second level slot. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it like the... with like a good natured punch, like don't do that again. <laughs> kind of a kind of an energy. Oh, I feel so much better. Perhaps we should chase the barbarian now. <laughs> <laughs> My Unless incorrect is mean. Raylana just bolting up that stairway. I waited about halfway to see if you guys were coming, but <laughs> I'm not going to wait much longer. <laughs> ah. oh. Okay. A uh, survivor would be good. So, but okay, but are we going to, do we want to get involved in this, whatever this is, or do we want to take this opportunity to take a look around? Because mm. they're, they're, they're occupied. Whoever's here is occupied. We but all we have here is the dining room. That's not very interesting. Do you think we could sneak past them while they're well, fighting? Not necessarily, but we could maybe get we could get out in the yard, or there was there's more rooms there were there's more rooms that we didn't check out on the side of the house. My only Correct? concern is um, what if there's survivors? They're not going to be survivors be. for much longer. <laughs> yeah, so we don't know who's fighting. Or why they're fighting. And well, we it's Zentarum like, in the house. And as far as I'm concerned, a dead Zent is a good Zent. So I'm good with killing any of them. But we should keep one alive to find out what they're doing. I mean, it wouldn't be bad to have the house in our debt either. So just saying. I agree. OK. Or I try to sneak past them while they're busy fighting each other and see what's in the rest of the house. I mean, there's there's other parts of this house that we can access from this side, isn't there? There's mm -hmm. there were rooms two back. Doors. Yeah, there were two doors. 
from the room we can't. So we, if I mean, if we're if our goal is just to explore and look around, we can do plenty of that without getting close to the combat. True. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, if you guys don't want to go upstairs, definitely tell Raylona because she's like almost there. She's up. She's, Raylona, she's, she's like she's going up the stairs as we speak. I'm hissing. Raylona, stop. Come hey, back. Don't do it. I gotta talk about this. But there's fighting up there. I know, but we don't know who's fighting or why. We do. It's the house and the Zentaro, but we don't know why. Okay, we don't know why. And we don't, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I guess the question is do we jump into the, do we jump into more fighting blind? Or do we want to take this opportunity to look around and then see what see what happens? Sharkira wants to, to look around in the other rooms to see if there's anything sus. I'm okay with that. I'm I'm leaning I'm leaning that way too, only because I'm starting to run low on spell slots and I'm I don't like if they can thin themselves out a little bit, that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. Well, That's fair. I'll follow you guys. Um, How many doors are in this room here? Uh, the dining room you're in? Mm -hmm. There are doors. There's the front door. Double mm -hmm. doors here. A door here right next to y'all. A door here next to y'all. And another door over here. Hmm. So you have lots of doors. So maybe one or... I can't see if it's dark. So maybe one or... One or a couple of you guys could just go like take a peek through the door and see if there's anything of interest, like just a quick there's cursory glance. Still a, a bit of light from various torches and lamps that have been lit in the house. It's not completely well, like in pitch here, black. But, right, but like I don't know what's on the other side. If it's dark, I mean, if I if, if we're going in and looking in doors, if it's dark on the other side of the door, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be able to see anything. True, true, true. That was my okay. point. So I'll go look at the door to the right of the main doors of the exit, the front door. Okay. Not a problem. Bink, bunk, bunk, bunk. You step up to the door, push it open, and you find yourself looking into a library of some sort. You can see the, from where you are, you can see a fireplace on the far wall. Um,. There's not a lot else to say per se, unless you want to go in and explore it. Uh, library here, ladies. Anything immediately interesting? At like a quick a, glance? A desk? Uh, if you, yeah. Well, if you, as you step in, you pass a door to another small room here. That's right off that. So there's the door. Mm -hmm. You can also see in this corner is a pedestal with a book scene on it. Hmm. And a, a point of, of some, you know, like, this is an important book kind of thing. This is an important book to the family. And then you've got bookshelves and the couches and, you know, an ottoman. All Large right. owl bear rug. I'm glad that you said rug after owl bear. <laughs> there was a beholder in the town too um it just it happened to be stuffed so. <laughs> taxidermy as opposed to plushy I, I don't honestly know if i can read or not maybe uh, this is a better spot for the uh learned among us hmm. who wants to check the space out or are we moving on to some other location that um, looks worth looking at for yeah. sure. That's what I was going to say. Uh, is is it? I see a fireplace. Is it light in there? Yeah. Okay, I can I can trot over there and look at the. I can check out the book. Okay. Um, as I you can, approach the read. book, you see that it has a large clasp on it, holding it shut, with a a, um, a keyhole in it. Okay. Can I see? Is there anything written on the cover or the spine? Uh, not as such. Uh, there's a series of markings and runes to identify yeah, that probably have a deep meaning to whoever owns it. Can I tell what language it's in? Mm -hmm. You don't recognize the symbols on it at first. Okay. 
You do see the Grelhund family crest on it, though. Okay. And I'm guessing by just a look, just like a, a look around the surfaces and everything, there's no key visible. There's no key visible. Okay. That's fair. I'm just going to take note of it. I will pick that lock. I... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Throwing caution to the wind, the row goes, get out of the way. Walks up and slams a, you know, sticks a, a thin knife right into the lock and starts wiggling it. For chrysanthemum, mm -hmm. that's exactly what happened with the door. She's like, "Can I open this door?" And the barbarian's like, "No way!" I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, you know, covering the bases. One of these days, you guys are gonna feel really stupid if I try it around. Like, hey guys, it wasn't even locked. <laughs> <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. Uh, I need <laughs> a, friends are for. I need a sleight of hand check from our rogue. Indeed. Try before you pry. Yeah, exactly. Wretch, how do I roll bad? Okay, so you hmm. you stick your the pen knife in, start to wiggle. You find some catches. You can feel the tumblers are sliding into place, and then you watch as various vaporous apparitions start to slip out of the book and take start starting to form on either side of it. Oh, they've got <sighs> dark red eyes. Look straight at Lorelai. And, so, and one of them hisses, withdraw the dagger. I do. I do. I yank the dagger and backflip right the hell out of there. And then they immediately swoop right back into the book. Yeah, I'm going to say let's leave that alone for now. <laughs> wow. All right. This is what happens when you stick things in things without permission. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's a joke about consent there. I think we're all thinking it. <laughs> I'm going to trot myself out of that my room. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> we lost Rob. <laughs> <laughs> the book's chastity belt is objected. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah, we're all 15. Well, <laughs> so we try a different room. I was, I was trying to think of, like, a, a tactful way oh. to say, like, this is why we don't pick locks if we don't know what the, but, like, there's, like, there's no delicate way of saying that. You, you, you did fine. We don't pick the lock if we don't know what it is, but there's, you, there's no getting there. How do you know what it that. is until you try? <laughs> that, that's, no, that's not how that... Liz, we're going to talk after this. <laughs> you know, if you don't have, how do you know you don't like it? If you I, we're, we're so going to have a talk after this. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm so... I'm gosh. leaving the room. <laughs> oh, your character is. Chrysanthemum <laughs> has left the chat. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Um, There's a there... creepy book in there. We're not going back in me. there. I did move you. I'll put you back. There is the door here, or again, the fighting is starting to continuing up the top of the stairs. Raylona still looks like she's desperate to join it. What next? Oh, I forgot there was a door right there. Can I like peek in the door on my way out of that room? Forgot there was another door there. Uh, let me check the number on it. I think you might have a. Uh, oops. That door is locked. That door's locked, okay. That door is locked. Well, I can't do a darn thing about that. Can I try to open that door? You're going to pick that lock? Yeah. I'm going to get out of the way before she picks that after lock. After what just happened? Well, you never know. Seeing her take her thing, her tool out, I'm like, nope. <laughs> I was noping out the door. You put that tool away. <laughs> See? Ping, and the lock pops open. Mm-hmm. No ghosts. Right. Oh, good. That's a good sign. Push the door open a little bit and peek in. Um, it's a well-apportioned study. There's a desk at the far end of the room uh, with a chair at it, a nice rug, books and other such um, trappings. No ghostly dogs or anything like that. Uh, 
There's a 10 foot canvas wrestling match, wrestling mat in the middle of the room. Hmm, um, I prefer a wrestling match, man. Ray Lana yeah. can get on on that. <laughs> uh, you can, you look around, you notice there are actually several small statues of, of men, naked men posed in uh, various uh, wrestling and fighting poses. How big are they? No. Oh, shit. I those right in my pouch. <laughs> Foop. That desk, you say? Mm-hmm. Anything interesting on the desk? Can we establish whether I can read or not? You probably can read and write your your elven mm -hmm. at least. Okay. And Is probably, there anything interesting looking? You, you like... pick up one of the books and go to flip through it, and it's actually just a a, a box of really light balsa wood. Hmm. And you pop it open, and there's uh, oh, a dirty picture. <laughs> a couple of them actually. Okay. Well, this is fun. This is not useful. Uh, <laughs> In fact, most Little of the papers. books are not actual books. They're just either naughty pictures or salacious poetry. This is not helpful. Okay. Back kind of a room. Back out. <laughs> Back out again. Fair enough. Uh, the fighting starting to wind down from up the top. Should we go make a rescue? Ilona's like, come on. <laughs> I say we go rescue the house and gain favor. All right. I'm I'm staying in, I'm I'm hanging back, but I won't object. All right. Well, as soon as I see them heading for the stairs, I'm bolting up there. Okay, so I'm gonna move you guys over here to the upper floor map. Boink. Get out. And so we bring Everybody over there. Boom. Boom. Normally I would just like load a new map now, but this one's set up to have two for one. Uh, let's see. He's not there anymore. And he's not there anymore. And he's not there anymore. See us. He's not there anymore. And he's right there. I don't see us. Uh, go up the map a bit. Like go up on the map to the second floor area. Oh, oh, there we are. Got it. Thank you. Yep, we got you covered. Salacious poetry, indeed. It, I, I, I think I feel like the 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 private office with the dirty stuff in it was a little also on the nose, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge too hard on that. <laughs> what I left didn't stay and read poetry. Part of me wished it hadn't been locked because then Chrysanthemum would have been the first one to peek in there and she'd be like, what is this? <laughs> Instead of taking some oh. she made a red halfling. <laughs> She's just walking out like ah. just totally aghast. <laughs> um, as you come up the stairs, one of the guards is still, two of the guards are holding their, are trying to, to keep this one Zent from getting through into the next room over here. Um, they seem to slightly have the upper hand, uh, but the guy's putting up a heck of a fight as he's trying to like take at least one of them with him. And you all keep watching. Uh, I'm ready to go. If we're going to do initiative. Oh, you can just, you're going to jump in on the fight? Oh, hell yeah. All right. Just for the for the fun of it, roll me an attack roll. Okay. Can I rage first? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, oh, that's a... <laughs> no. <laughs> that will miss. Oh, <laughs> no. I've uh, rubbed off on you. I'm so sorry. Do, for dramatic purposes, do you want to use one of your rerolls on that? Wait, is that okay, guys? Or can I just take I'm, them like I did last? Time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with the reroll. Yeah. All right. Here's for better. Yeah. Okay. Woo. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, right. that'll definitely hit. I'm roll some damage with it. So, um. That's going to be a 16, actually, because I am raging. Yeah, you charge right up behind him. He has enough time to, like, look over his shoulder at the sound of your battle cry. 
before you slice, like, his head comes right oh, no. off <laughs> as the axe goes Hell down yeah. into him. No. Whoa. Punch. Punch. <laughs> the, Don't kill it. The, the house guard looks up at you. It's like, who are you? Um, I step forward. We are... Diplomacy. <laughs> We heard some chaos going in and saw an open door and bloody corpses and thought you might need some help. You're not with the watch. Get out of here. <laughs> well, there's gratitude for you. Are you attempting something besides just lying through your teeth? Well, diplomacy. Well, wait, what else do I have here? Give me, give me some more with that, then. What else do you want to say to him before he runs you out of the house? What else? Or are you sticking with me? I would the... think, for our help, we should at least have some sort of hospitality. Help? We had him beat. Except for the ones downstairs. Okay, now give me a persuasion check. That's a fair point. <laughs> Chat, Chat's making me oh, laugh right now. For God's <laughs> sake. Here we go again. The dice hate me. <laughs> so he seems unimpressed. Indeed. The two guards kind of like close ranks in front of the door. You've got till I count to five. To clear out of this, or we'll make sure we okay. hold you here for when the guard arrive. Okay, hearing hearing this, I I am gonna cast disguise self, and I'm gonna make myself look like a dwarf, so just a little bit like a little bit bigger than myself, and I would like to appear as though I'm wearing a watch uniform. And I'm going to yell from this back over here, what the hell is going on in here? And I'm going to come stomping up the stairs and whirl around the corner. Okay. And I'm going to point my finger at the guard in front of Raylona and say, you've got 30 seconds to give a satisfactory explanation for this ruckus before I rain hell down on your heads. Give me a, uh, what would you like to roll? <laughs> you tell me what you're doing now. Are you intimidating? Um, Are you performing? Are you deceiving? Ooh, I'm bowing to the guard. <laughs> um, I'm going to give it, I'm okay. Wait, hang on. What do I have? What, what's, What's my better? Let's see. No, you cannot oh. incite this. <laughs> this is clear that right no, there. No, okay. They're they're all they're all pre they're all pretty even. So um, I'll start with intimidation. Okay, I'm roll just, it. I'm kind of just trying to throw him off his feet. Eh. Trying to get him off guard before he has a chance to go. Wait a second. Twelve. Pretty solid. Oh, whoa, whoa. These bandits broke in. They're trying to, they're, they're attempting to overrun the house. What are they looking for? Well, they're trying to take the, the Lord and Lady hostage. And why would they want to do that? Because there's money to be had for it. Obviously. Who would pay money for the Lord and Lady of this house? Well, they're family. They're worth, they're nobles. You've never heard of gangs attempting to seize a lord and lady as hostages to ransom? Not this messily, I haven't. Yeah, that's a pretty good Jeez, point. Jeez, it's like the it's like <laughs> freaking amateur hour up in here. <laughs> While this is going on, I'm going to kind of ease back down the stairs and ransack pockets of the deceased. <laughs> Um, okay. The uh, the guard looks at uh, at Chrysanthemum. Is this woman with you? And he points at Raylona. 
I'll look at the captain and the guard. Now, Chrysanthemum did this like down the stairs, right? Yeah. I have no idea this is Chrysanthemum. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of look at the guard captain like uh I'm um, gonna I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at Raylona and kind of I'm gonna kind of like try to like something in my face is like, come on, and I'm gonna say to the guard, if she wasn't with me, do you think she'd be with me? <laughs> I'm just she like, wasn't with me. I'm, I'm, try, I'm just like mad. I'm like, <laughs> this is not how I, ex I'm, I'm, my air is like, this is not how I expected my night to go. I'm just on patrol. There's, now there's going to be paperwork. <laughs> we could hear the ruckus from outside. Um, is everything, is everything under control? Are there more anywhere? That's directed at the guard. That is directed at the guard. The DM is checking because someone's supposed to be somewhere, but he is misremembering it. So now he has to remember where oh. that guy is um, in the house because he's somewhere. Because oh. um, he's not there. Uh, so there definitely are more. The, the Lord and Lady are still in the house. Okay. They will confirm that. Um, let's see. This next room is that. Ah, yes. Um, well, we've managed. To, he's, we've managed to keep the thugs away from the lady who's behind us here in the bedroom. I haven't seen the Lord. Last I saw, he might have been talking to someone in the guest rooms. Well, maybe I'd better have a talk about the, have a talk with the lady of the house. See if we can settle a few things. Give me a persuasion check. Okay. Good enough. You've had you've you've, you've got some some reason to to take command. Building some momentum. Yeah, you got some momentum going on. Uh, uh, I got to figure out. Uh, I do have to double check one thing in my notes. Because there's that, there's that, there's that. There's that. All these wonderful references to this name. Ah. <coughs> No, he's not there. He's not there. Aha, he's there. Uh, okay, perfect. Um, he says, yes, of course, you should definitely have an opportunity to, 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 yes, that would make sense. And that's when you all collectively hear a loud banging sound from behind this door to the south. Uh-oh. I'm going to... I'm going to point to the door. Um, Relona, get that door open. Hopefully by using to, Relona's uh... name, I'll, she'll pick up that that's me. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I will proceed to try to open that door. One of the, the guards is... City Watch employing mercenaries now? I don't know, man. Times are tough. Haven't you heard <laughs> of the Great Resignation? I thought that was like six months ago. We do what it takes to get the job done. I'm like motioning to Raylo to like get the door open. You know? <laughs> like a, like a, you know, like a, like a upper, you know, higher ups do. Chop, 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 chop. Come um, on, come on. As you do, um, it opens up into a small uh, closet-like area. And there's a, a man with obvious wounds throwing, you know, kicking at the door on the south side of the wall. Who are you? He, he turns around and looks. Um, he kind of takes in both Raylona and you. Um, 
And he is going to... Uh, what's he going to do? He is going to make his way... He's going to actually charge Relona. As he looks out the doorway, he's like, ah, and he just turns, he just bolts straight at her. What's Relona doing in that moment? Um, trying to stop him. Okay. Uh, would that be a strength check or? Unarmed strike, if you want to try and grab him. Hey, that's fine. Uh, let's see here, let me find. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Ooh, uh, uh, that's pretty solid. Get that off of there. I just need to have him up in front of me. He does not roll well. <laughs> as, as he pushes past you and Rilona just like wraps him into a hold. <laughs> I'm going to walk up and like get in his... Well, I'm, I'm short, but I'm like, what the hell do you think you're doing in there? He, he glances at you, he glances at the guards, and then he, he looks like furious. They've been holding me captive here. Who's been holding you captive here? Them. Them being the he, guards? He nods at the, at the guards. I'm a prisoner mm -hmm. here. I'm just a oh, merchant. But I'm going to look at the guards. They like... say I shortchanged them on a purchase. They've been holding me here. How long have you been in there? They held me here for three days. And your name is? Lurst. Lurst? Yes. I'm gonna just like take a look in, like into the room. Is there any, is there just like it's like just a closet. It's a closet with a door on the far side that he was kicking at. I was trying to get out. The, the guard's like, that's not true. He's a member of the Zent. Does he, out, out of character, does he look like a member of the Zent? He's, he is wearing like a leather doublet. Okay, so he could be. He's bleeding. All right. He's been injured. He's like, then why did they attack me when they came raiding in here? I'm a bystander. Unhand me, please. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say, uh, hang on, I'm thinking about how to word this. Uh oh. <laughs> say nobody's going anywhere until I get to the bottom of this. Are you gonna? If I put, if I have her put you down, are you gonna bolt, or are you gonna stand there while I figure out what's going on? Fine. I'll I wait. Motion, I motion to Raylona, like, put him down, but watch him. He's lying to you on the guards. Goes, He's lying to you. You should, you can't trust him. Uh, can I make an insight check on the guards? Sure. You absolutely can. All right. I'm going to make an insight check on the guards. See if they know more than they're. Or if they're trying to. And can I re-roll that one? <laughs> with my Party cool with that? Like, yeah, I'm fine with that. Well, no, I, have, I have halfling luck. Oh, oh okay. Halfling I can luck. I can re-roll a one on an ability check. Oh, yeah. Can I Natural do that? ones, yes, absolutely. Awesome. Halfling luck. Halfling luck. That's better. The, um, the cards seem to be telling the truth. Or it seemed to be telling the truth. Okay. I'm going to file that away, and I'm going to say, I think I'd like to talk to the lady of the house now. All right, fine. And he reaches to open the door. Uh, what are Sharkira and uh, Lorelai doing at this time? As pockets have been rifled of, you know, a couple of coppers and some silvers and other shinies. Okay. Nothing interesting, no yeah. notes or no, no body poetry. Direction. Nothing interesting. <laughs> Great. Okay, then I'm gonna head back up the stairs. 
All right. right. I'm going to as I'm as I'm walking towards that room, I'm going to I'm going to holler um Sharkira, you and Raylon are going to keep an eye on this jet right here, make sure he doesn't leave your sight. And then I'm going to holler at Lorelai and tell her um Lorelai, you're going to go in there and you're going to make sure those rooms are clear. I don't want anybody leaving this house until I've gotten to the bottom of this. You got it, boss. All right. <laughs> so which rooms is, are you ordering Lorelai to clear? Um, in through, she's cause, uh, in the closet mm -hmm. and make sure there's nothing else. Because I, I just like peeked in. I'm Make sure there's nothing else in there. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah, just, yeah. All right, it check up. it out. Look for secret doors or anything interesting like that. Yep. Okay. Let's see here. We'll do that. We're going to put that guy there. Uh, I'm going to double check this. Uh, and I'll tell you what just happened. Because a lot of interesting things just happened. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, let's see here. There is a... I am flying by the seat of my pants here, guys. You're doing great. <laughs> Doesn't yes. seem that way. That's all that matters. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> uh, let's see. There's a half orc standing. I'm running out of tokens here for all the different people you're coming across. Uh, we'll use this one for the half orc. Standing there. And then with him, we'll use the wings. Is a woman wearing a it's a very well-made, almost um, ceremonial breastplate. And in her offhand, she's holding the scabbard of a rapier that she hasn't drawn yet. But she's watching the door as you come in. All right. I'm going to come in not not threatening, but just, like, confident in my station. Okay. Like, I'm in control. So you're you're going to puff your control, chest out and stride I'm in control in. of the situation, but I'm not over. I'm not threatening. Okay. I'm not looking for trouble. Commanding. Commanding. Yeah. She stands half behind her half orc bodyguard as you as you enter into the space. You'd be the lady of the house, I take it? Yes. Who are you? All right. Uh, my lady, this would be one of the captains of the You never gave your name, sir. So from out of character, what would be like like I don't know what what rank would would I be? I'm not I'm not looking for like something super high rank, but somebody who'd be you know a like sergeant? patrol in the streets, a sergeant. That's fair. Sure. Okay. Um. Name is Sergeant Corliss. I've been patrolling these streets, and I heard a ruckus. Well, I'm we're here to get to the bottom. We're of this. good to have you. There's a a member of the Zent that uh, attempted to kidnap my husband and I and our children. He's 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 in the next room. Out in the what? hall, he, he we locked him in the closet. And I'm gesturing out the door. That that closet out there. Yes, yes. Take when him away immediately. In, when did he come in trying to kidnap you? This evening. He and his his brigands assaulted the house. He claims he's been in that closet for the last three days. Well, that's the kind of thing a, a cutthroat blackguard would say, wasn't it? I make an insight check on on her. Okay. Just, I got conflicting stories here. You mm -hmm. do. And somebody's lying. 15. Oh, that was a previous insight check. You're making all kinds of insight checks. Ah. <laughs> I'm a Take little bit more roll. Do it. <laughs> Come in. You believe him. Just re -roll? take it. I need to know. All Who's right. Who? I'm taking it. That's the last one. Chat can help us out yep. still. That's uh, a little bit better. If they are so inclined. Um, uh, there's a blend of both truth and false in what she has to say. Hmm. Some of the okay. statements are true and some of them are not true. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's something. She, she, has, right she has two basic statements. He's a member of the Zent. Ooh, reroll the... Oh, 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 we have child point immediate reroll to try to do better. Woo! All right. See if we can improve that. This role, apparently, apparently. Okay. No, Polymorph wants you to try to do better. All right. 
So let's see what happens. Insight. The D20 comes up to still a 12. Nope. <laughs> there, were, there were two statements. The man is a member of the Zent, and he attempted to kidnap me tonight. One of those is true, and one of them is false. Okay. Based on, okay, out of character, this Chrysanthemum's thought process is he's dressed like a member of the, of the Zent, so I'm leaning toward that being true. I'm leaning toward he's he tried to kidnap me tonight being false. But I'm not sure, so I'm just gonna, I'm I'm gonna plow forward. I and mean, what reason would he have for kidnapping you or your husband? I can't say that I could speak to the binds of the underworld. No, but usually when people have, when people get kidnapped, they usually have a pretty good reason why they're being kidnapped. But perhaps a ransom one of us, or both of us to the family. We're very well connected, you know. <laughs> And to whom are you very well connected? Humor well, me. We, we own a great deal of property in Waterdeep. And businesses. There's money to be had. Surely someone of your stature would understand that there are always brigands. We, we maintain a guard for this sort of situation. I'm going to take out, I'm, I'm going to take out like a, like a pen and paper, start looking like I'm taking notes. Um, and what would be some of those businesses you're connected with? She starts to rouse him off. Meanwhile. Anything interesting? Like eh, like an ooh kind of a thing or just like not really. garden variety? Okay. Meanwhile, Rayola and, uh, Rayola and uh, Shakira are standing at the top of the stairs with uh, the guy that you found in the closet. As two members of the town watch come up the stairs, each one has a <laughs> torch and a club. You there! And he points the club at Sharkira. Who oh, are man, you? Down the stairs. Oh, I should have disguised myself first. Um, okay. Who are you? <laughs> She's gonna answer a question with a question. Um, the watch. Stand down. Are you armed? Ilona's just gonna like scooch her great axe behind her a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> the, the man kind of glances at the back of Lorelei, who is engaged in something not involving him. He glances down at the guards and goes, Help! Help! They're kidnapping me! To which both of them are like, Whoa! And they start to charge up the stairs towards you can i hear any of this from inside you're discussing properties okay <laughs> fair enough oh geez okay how does shark here take this oh well she's she's slightly worried but is there a chance that she can well i guess she would say um well hey we're we're with the city watch we were told to hang on to this person it's Hands where we can see them. Back of your head. Back of your head. Hands back of your head. No. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Are you going to tackle one of them? No. <laughs> not, it's, not it's either that or burning hands down the stairs. I don't know how many more options Shakira has other than like complying. <laughs> There's tackle and burning hands. That's it. I was going to say, when Raylona's ready, she is uh, going to turn and look at Shakira and just be like, Shrug, sorry, and then she's gonna try to knock one out. No. Okay. Um, <laughs> you start like pushing and shoving with the guards at the top of the stairs. I'm not, not highly knocking anybody out. <laughs> not highly effectively. Not highly effectively. But there's definitely some pushing and shoving, and you know they're they're not adventurers per se. So between the two of you, you can definitely like kind of hold them at bay if you want to. Meanwhile, Lorelai's at that door down there. Okay, can I open this door? Um, the door is completely blocked. Like you start to push it open to see what's inside it, and it's just like it slams into something. Hmm. Is it safe? 
What? Hello? Y- yes, is it safe to come out? Yeah, it's definitely safe. Who's in there? This is Lord Grelhund. Are you one of the guards? You don't sound familiar. You're one of them. Go away! No, actually, we've, we've rescued your guards and, and defeated the sense. Are you okay? Okay, now Liz, you need to pick up a d20, you need to roll it, and you need to not completely bomb it. Okay. An actual D20? I, I don't care. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for an actual, actual... Okay, I will trust I, you. Okay. What's that? Oh, God. Oh, 19! Yes! <laughs> I'm so Yay! proud of you. It's about dang time. <laughs> <sighs> the electronic dice. Hey. Well, I'm just terrified what you're going to put my kids through this week at dance if, like, tonight continues to go off the rails because, like, they're already whining about how much they hurt. Oh, and that, that's it just, was not me. That I know. my daughter. Who learned it somewhere. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, but it's pirates, Rob. Pirates. I know. I know. I know. I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, so you get him talking, basically. It's okay. Okay. And you can hear things starting to scrape on the, on the floor as the door starts to slide open a little bit. And he kind of peeks around at you. Did, did, did you take care of the one that was trying to break in here? Which one was that? Erstal, he's he's yeah, yeah, very I, well connected. Push, I'm gonna like push him back in and like close the door so we can like, push back. Oh, so you go in? Oh yeah. Okay. Um, you're inside what looks like a guest room. There's a, a bird cage, um, bed, the wardrobe that's been pushed up against the door. <laughs> he's like, yes, yes. Herstal Floxen was was is part of the Centarium. He's they're trying to get their hands on the Stone of Golor. Ah those damn Zents. They're always trouble. Well, you've you you've heard the rumors, haven't you? Not exactly. We well, just honestly, I saw Zents attacking your household, and I hate the Zents so much that I had to step in because your guard was woefully ineffective. Seriously, we need to talk. You starts, need to hire some. He starts to look at you a little bit like, really? Then Zentarum killed my entire family. They've ruined my life. It is my goal to destroy Zents in every aspect of the world. I believe that part, but the walking down a random street of the North Ward and inserting yourself into a combat within the manor? Really? Have you seen what's in your kitchen? They left the door open, blood rolling out into the alley. It's a horrible thing. <sighs> oh, I knew they were going to stop at nothing to get their hands on the stone. It's true. That's how they are. Well, they say They're that horrible. the rumors are the stone will unlock a hidden vault in Waterdeep that contains over half a million gold dragons. The really? coins. And you have the stone? No, oh, no. You've, no. You've deceived the Zentarum. Will you lure them here so I can kill them? No, we, we had the stone, but we realized oh. during the attack that we had to send it away. My wife was oh. frustrated that things weren't going as she had hoped. So she... Wait, who? My wife. Oh. Lady Galor. We, we have it but on she them. she sent it away. Oh, well, yes. so unfortunate. When it became evident that it was no longer safe here. She gave it back to that, that nimble right that she befriended and sent it off into the darkness. Oh, those nimble rights. They're such trouble. But it's a good thing you've gotten your hands on Erstal. 
He'll tell you more. Meanwhile, the top of the stairs, Reloda and Shakira are continuing to try to keep the guard from coming up the stairs. And there's a moment where they realize that they look over her shoulder and there's no sign of Erstal. Yeah. yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> where the hell did he go? And as you as you as you say that, you you oh. watch the door right here close. Ah. And a few seconds later, you hear the sound of crashing glass. Oh. Well, we definitely we definitely have to go look at that. I mean, it sounds like he just jumped out a window. Um, I'll tell you, go ahead. I'll keep them here. Uh, I forgot about the guards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the guards are attempting to beat you into submission, so you'll stop resisting arrest. That's fair. Do I hear right. the crashing glass? Uh, you might hear it faintly in the distance. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. I'm going to come back out. Can I just can I just peek my head into the door? Sure. Like, one hand on the guard, one hand on the door. <laughs> Bink. Uh, there are windows along this wall right here. Behind all these nice, neatly lined up chairs. And mm -hmm. one of the windows is smashed outward. Wonderful. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to run and catch up with him. And I need to kind of support Ray Lona, so I'm going to turn back around and I guess put my heads back out. I'm not sure what, oh. what action to take. Meanwhile, <laughs> we cut to uh, Chrysanthemum as she continues to interrogate the lady of the house. All right. Trying not to lose sight of the reason we came here in the first place. Um, I'm going to tell her all right, your ladyship. You you've been you've been pretty straight with me, so I'm going to be straight with you. I didn't happen to be on that street on the street by your house by accident. I've had reports of a nimble right causing some damage in town, and it made a beeline right here. Now, why would that be? I can't say. No, we don't have a nimble right in the house. You don't have a nimble right in the house. We don't. Well, I have it on pretty good authority that there was one that was seen coming into your house. Well, you and your men are welcome to search. That nimble right is long gone. I mean, there has never been a nimble right at this property. I don't think I need to inside check that. <laughs> okay. So you'll give us permission to search the house willingly? Yes. We have nothing to hide. As long as you maintain yourself simply to the more public parts of the house, avoid our private um, studies, the library. Fair enough. The guest room. You should this leave our bedroom as well. And, of course, uh, leave our children alone. In fact, it would be best if you would confine your search to the servants' quarters and the dining room. <laughs> Which are where? Downstairs. Oh, All right. Now about so, now-ish, you're going to hear a crash and hear the fighting at the top of the stairs as Rilona and Shakira are resisting arrest. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do that, like, massage the bridge of my nose, and then I'm going to head back out the door. Now what? And, mm -hmm. uh... You come out through the door and there two guards have pushed their way up the stairs. Two members of the city watch, I should say, have pushed their way up the stairs. You're all staying there on the landing. And a a woman wearing the, the stripes of a watch sergeant comes up the stairs. Finally, I get some backup around here. She looks at you. Who are you? <laughs> Sergeant Alistair Corliss. We heard, I was, I've been, hang on, let me think. Nice. 
Uh. Nice down. <laughs> I was in I was investigating a disturbance that has been linked. I'm I'm speaking I'm speaking with in character. I'm speaking a lot more confidently because I'm trying to think as I go. I was investigating a disturbance in town that had some links to this building. And during the course of my investigation with my associates here, and I, I gesture to who, the rest of us that are, the rest of my party that are in the room, we heard a ruckus and we came in to investigate. Blood all over the floors, corpses all over the place. Guy locked in that closet over there, and nobody seems to know how long he's been there. Because I'm getting conflicting stories from the ladies of the house, the lady of the house, and the prisoner, who's apparently bolted out the window. And all I can think of is how much overtime I'm going to have to put in at the office writing all this up. To which the sergeant goes, "But who are you?" I told you, and I, I kind of like, like. Doy gesture at my and, uniform. And she looks like, Sergeant Corliss. I've never heard of you. It's a big city. I just got transferred. You definitely want to roll me a deception now. No. <laughs> you definitely want to roll me a deception now. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yes. Get it. That works. I'm I'm sweating. <laughs> right. Well, it's a good thing that you were here then. Uh, uh, who are these mercenaries? I'm I'm assuming he's he, she's referring. She's pointing to... at Raylona and Shakira, who are still technically resisting arrest. I I'm I motion to. Raylona and Chuck here to kind of like back off. They're with me. Makes the job a little bit easier. You never heard of confidential informants? She seems they do they help with some they help me with some of the heavy lifting. She, 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 They're she... with me and I I I'm, I give them like a work we're, we're good guys. So stand how out. long do you intend to stand here and talk about this? I, I as little time as possible. <laughs> I'm like um, we just got permission from the lady of the house. We're going to go downstairs and make sure that the rooms are clear and there's no more enemy combatants on the premises. And are you searching the downstairs you... or are you just heading right out the door? Uh, we can search on our way out, but we're going to. Well, that's the DM yeah. asking. Are you planning to actually search? Or are you like, we're going to go search. And as soon as we get to the door, we are out. I, I, I I'm okay with out. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm just trying not to get arrested. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you guys sort through, sort through the stories up here. While we clear the downstairs. And she she nods. It's, all right. Yes. 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 And the she and the two guards go to head in to talk to the lady. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna gesture you two. You three with me. And we're gonna head downstairs. Where Where's the Lord? He's still hiding in the room you left him in. All right, I'm going to go back to him. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to tell him that the, that the, the watch has arrived. Wait, I thought you were the watch. No, I told you. I just came in because I wanted to kill Zenz. Oh. Oh, and I told... Oh, dear. She's going to be so cross. She doesn't need to. It'll Good. be our secret. Good. Don't mind me. I just, if, if you need any help with the Zens, feel free to contact me. Where would I find you? Well, you'll find me at the uh, Troll Skull Manor. Oh, okay. Any Excellent. chance to kill Zens, I'm in. Interesting, yes. Have a good evening. I'm glad you're safe. Had him. And he, he takes a very strong note that People from this party can be found at Troll Skull Manor. Yeah. One person from this party. Can be found at <laughs> I'm like, I can't. I'm... Yeah. Nope. I'm, I'm nope. out of character. I'm going. <gasps> you make your way down and quickly out. 
um, we've established that House Grelhund has connections with the Zentarium. They're connected to an attempt to steal the Stone of Golor. At some point, it was in this house, and it has recently left to get in the hands of a Nimble Rite, which thankfully, you have a Nimble Rite detector back at Troll Skull Manor. Which means first thing in the morning, a party's going to have to set out to see where it ended up this time. Which we'll find out next Sunday. Oh my gosh, you guys. Are you okay there, Arwen? <laughs> Woo! I think the I VIP to tonight was definitely Arwen. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Chrysanthemum. Oh, that was very stressful. <laughs> so professional, though. So professional. Thank you. I'm trying to think of like every like bad cop stereotype TV show bluff I can think of. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Huh. Mm. Well, we got some information and we didn't get arrested. That was that was as much as I could hope for. <laughs> We Scooby Dooed our way out. We <laughs> sure did. Absolutely. Oh. Yep. Santa like gets out of like out of view of the matter and just like <laughs> face down in the snow <laughs> <laughs> and drops to Sky's cell. Uh, you can roll me back to the manor. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of picture Ray Long just kind of like scooping her up and thump. Yep. <laughs> I'm out of juice. A, a piggyback ride to go get waffles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And bacon. All the waffles and bacon. And, bacon. Right. and a very strong drink. Ha! <laughs> <sighs> hmm. Not a complete loss. You got the backstory you needed. You, you found out that it's not here anymore. Yup. I don't know why they would. Fireball Troll Skull, though. No. Did they fireball the manor or did they fireball some poor sucker that had the Stone of Golor in front of the manor? Oh, oh. Yeah. there's a good thought. I wasn't gotcha. there, so I don't know. Gotcha. I, I don't know. Yeah, there was yeah. there was something Location taken off of, of one of the bodies and he took off running. Gotcha. Okay. Got it. Okay. Well, that puts a few of the pieces together. And now comes the grand hunt for the stone. He All said, right. checking his notes to verify that that's going to be sessions seven, eight, and nine. Woohoo. All right. So that should be a lot of fun. And I think, uh, I think it's on my other, hang on, it's my other account. I keep my notes in my actual Google Drive, but I have the schedule in my official streaming one. So next week, which would be the 30th, uh, it looks like it's the uh, the core group is back together again. Yay! So Liz, will be, Liz is going to be taking the night off, and Malik will be back in. Sweet. As you start your grand search. And we'll see Liz back here on the 13th. Ooh, it'll be nice to see you again. Yeah. Which will be it'll a be lot of fun. It'll be great to be back. This was so much fun. Thanks for hanging out tonight. It was Thanks a lot of fun. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Uh, do we want to go back around the table again, reintroduce ourselves, who we were? And I always ask at the end of a session for stars and wishes. Stars were the things that stood out as bright moments, things you want to compliment, things you want to call out. And then the wishes are things you wish had been a little better, a little different. Um, I'm sure, Liz, you've heard this before, the two stars and a wish when you give feedback. No. We'll talk later about it. It's, okay. a, it's a teacher thing. Okay. Um, but anyway, um, and we always do the wishes off stream so that nobody has to feel like they have to pull back, um, because there's an audience there. You can insult me freely at that point. <laughs> we'll be out of the dropping of couches phase, but I'm going to put Liz on the spot to go first, uh, with re reminding us who you are and, uh, what your uh, star of the night was. Oh, all right. Um, uh, I'm Liz. I'm playing Lorelai. Uh, rogue swashbuckler half elf um my star of the night oh it's such a hard choice 
I'm gonna have to go with the 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 disguise as as the guard. That was that was amazing, and it worked. There we go. Uh, we go over to Chickadee. Hi, I'm Chickadee. Um, you can find me on Twitter at, um, under of less than Chickadee. And uh, my star, oh, I'm sorry, I play Raylona, the barbarian. Um, <laughs> and my star of the night was definitely when Raylona kicked down the door and then Sharkira immediately proceeded to flamethrower everything inside. <laughs> so that was good. <laughs> That works. That is a definite working moment. Um, that then takes us down around to Arwen. Uh, I'm Arwen, and I played um, Chrysanthemum Coriolis and Alistair Corliss, which I literally just pulled out of my butt. <laughs> <laughs> that name. Um, and I don't know. I, 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 this was chaos. <laughs> This I feel like this this was just an episode of chaos. I don't I don't know what's happening and I'm just running with it. Um, but I I always appreciate I always appreciate like combat in a map where you're trying to like like oh you're opening a door and you don't know what's on the other side of it. Um, and the book was the, the the little haunted book was fun. That was that was a fun little okay backing right up. I don't know. I just I like the manner and. Like opening a door. Oh, there's enemies back there. Oh, there's a creepy haunted book behind that door. It's it was a lot of surprises. Cool, 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 cool. And last but absolutely not least, Masari. Hello, I am Akio Airy. Uh, you can find me on Twitch. Uh, I was playing Sharkira, the Dark Elf Wizard with fiery hands, and uh, I have several stars of the night. It, it's more or less repeating, but um, I love that chrysanthemum helped pull our butts out of trouble um i liked all of the bamboozles inside of of the house or mansion whichever it's called that was awesome i loved not knowing what was going to happen but i was prepared for it and the coolest thing the coolest thing was that awesome kicking down the door and yeah <laughs> attack pattern amazing. delta i want that to happen again doesn't have to be the exact same thing but just something similar <laughs> Would be great. Let's do that again. Let's do that again. <laughs> that... Knock, knock, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you check the chat, I have links to everybody that, that um, I have links for is are there. Um, if you pop over onto the Discord, you'll also have an opportunity to hook up with us and get more links to things like social, uh, to Instagram and all that other stuff. Um, people are happy to share if you pop in and say hi. Um, the last thing I'll say before I, we raid out is just uh, because it's been, it was a thing and it's taken over a lot of my work today, um, we do have some new stuff I put up there. Um, we do have the I work out so I can do what my Dungeons & Dragons character does, tank ladies' tanks yeah. in the store. You can get it either with uh, Raylona or with Aveline on it as the graphic um, because they're the two fighters I currently have in active games. And I'm working on a couple other of those. So my, you know, other D and D themed uh, stuff for the various characters to show them off. <sighs> well, aside from the fact that, that my computer shut down, this has been an interesting evening. Um, but we're gonna send you off. Um, please tell them I said, tell him I said hi. For the reluctant hermit has been away from streaming for a bit. He's had some stuff going on. He's back on tonight, and I feel like it's only fair to share the love in his general direction. So when you get there, tell him we said hi, um, that we we appreciate him and everything he does for the stream communities. Um, we'll go from there. I will be back on Tuesday, 5 o'clock for happy hour. If you want to come pull up a, a, a stool at the bar, have a drink, and talk about something D&D related, you'll find us then. Wednesday night, we're back at 7 p.m. for the Convergence, which all I can tell you is there's a dragon right now. They're in the middle of fighting. Um, at a highway overpass sign. So, I mean, what could go wrong? Um, and then we'll be back here next Sunday night, 7 p.m., uh, to continue the search for the Stone of Golor throughout the mysterious metropolis of Waterdeep. 
So until the next time we get together, folks, uh, thank you for coming by tonight. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, please stay safe.